so we were solving problems based on dependent motion and relative motion i hope we are on same page are we yes sir so now we were solving this problem we have read this problem and we have done something about it in the last class we wrote krb pieces however let's translate whatever data given in this problem in terms of equations so the system shown starts from rest so what is the meaning of system starting from this it doesn't mean that all the particles were occupying the position equal to zero no but all the particles have velocity equal to zero that means the system starts from rest are you with me yes sir okay so the first equation that we have written here is va equal to vb equal to vc equal to vd all the four particles have initial initial velocity that is velocity at the time when observation started t equal to zero is zero are you with me yes sir okay then uh, each component moves with a constant acceleration so a a a b a c and a d are constants they are not functions of time happy yes so all the particles did they, they are going to exhibit uniformly accelerated motion is the next understanding uh, now if relative acceleration of block c with respect to collar b is 60 meter per second square upward so how do we translate this data relative acceleration of block c with collar b so c slash b is equal to why did i write plus 60 mm per second square because i am assuming upward one yes, point positive yes, yes sir yeah okay and what is the meaning of that with reference to the observer sitting on block c block b is moving in upward direction not in absolute sense it is not required that block b should be moving upward in absolute sense i will just a digress i will give you an example imagine that this is block c and this is collar b are you with me yes sir collar b is moving down with the velocity of 3 meter per second happy yes uh, and collar c is moving down with velocity of 5 meter per second so observer sitting on block c will feel that block b is moving towards it it is moving in upward direction do you agree with me yes sir okay so even though the absolute velocity of block b is downward the relative velocity of block b with reference to c is going to be upward do you agree with me yes sir Uh, so same is true for acceleration maine velocity ke liye bata diya because wo imagine karna easy hota hai acceleration hmm. is not the quantity that you can see but velocity is the quantity that you can imagine are you with me yes sir okay so having said that acceleration of c with reference to collar b is plus 60 mm per second square ye likh diya what is the next statement the relative acceleration of block d with reference to block yes, a sir. is 110 mm per second square downward so therefore acceleration of d with reference to a is minus 110 mm per second square meaning with reference to observer sitting on block d block a is moving downwards downward or is accelerating downwards not moving downwards it is accelerating down are you with me yes sir okay now determine the velocity of block c after 3 seconds and the change in position of block after 5 seconds that is what is asked are you with me yes sir now quickly uh, once again we will look at these equations i have i have chosen this as a reference line this as positive y position of block a is y a at any instant of time so y is a function of time y d is the position of block d at given instant of time y d is a function of time y b and y c are functions of time do you agree with me yes sir and we are trying to write down lengths of two strings which are in question here there are two strings you can have a look at this this is one string and this is another string so yes. what is the length of the first string so all the constant lengths we are going to take it on the other side so therefore we are going to only write the lengths which are going amenable for change so what are those lengths this y this is yy okay. so 2 times y a do you agree with me yes Ah, uh, so uh, have we made a, a mistake here? Well, yes, it should have been two times y. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Uh, because this length is also y a. This length is y a minus this constant length minus this constant length. So it goes on the other side. So two times y a yes. is okay. what. 
Similarly, we have two times y b. Happy? Yes, sir. Plus two times uh, plus y c equal to constant. Y c. What is the equation? Are you with me? Yes, sir. Okay. And what is the second equation? Uh, so for second equation, this length will be equal to y d minus y a minus, minus constant length. Yes, ah. yes, so sir. y d minus y a plus what is this length? It is y d minus y b. Yes, it is y d minus y b. This has to be constant. These are the two <laughs> equations. These are K R B P C. So what is K R B P C? K R B P C ka long form hai kinematic relationship between position coordinates. Are you with me? Yes, sir. There are two K R B P C s because we have two strings. Now, uh, consequence. If I differentiate this equation once, what do I get? Two times V A plus two times V B. Plus V C equal to zero. Happy? Yes, sir. Then if I differentiate the second equation, what do I get? Uh, two times V D. This Y D and Y D is going to be yes. two times V D minus V B minus V A equal to zero. Happy? Yes, sir. Uh, if I differentiate these equations once more, what is the consequence? Two times a b plus two times a b plus two plus a c equal to zero and two times a d plus a minus a b minus a a equal to zero. Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, so we have two equations in four accelerations. Now uh, we need to find out remaining accelerations. So how do we do that? We are going to use these two conditions. So what is the first condition? Acceleration of C with reference to B is plus 60. But what is acceleration of C with reference to acceleration of B? It is AC minus AB. Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. So AC minus AB is plus 60. And similarly, AD minus AA is equal to minus 100. Minus so we have four unknowns here and four equations here. So we are going to eliminate one unknown and then remaining three equations can be solved on calculator. You do that job. I will also redo it because I made an error here. So let me redo it and I will write down the values of these four accelerations. You also cross verify. So first of all, you are going to say that AC is equal to 60 minus AB. And then wherever you see AC in equation number 5, 6 and 8, replace it by 60 minus AB. So one of the unknowns will be eliminated and you will have three equations in three unknowns. Are you with me? This is a long route. I can also show you uh, the easiest possible way. Uh, you can just go. Uh, just give me a second. I hope my screen is visible. Yes. So you can just search on internet that you have to solve four equations with four unknowns. There were there are many solvers. So out of that, you can choose any one. Now look at this. When I write equation one here. A, B, C are my unknowns. What is A, B, C, A, 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 B, and A, C and A, D? Are you with me? Yes, sir. So A, B, C, and D are A, 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 B, A, C, and A, D. And E is the constant term after taking it to right hand side. So what is the first equation? 2 A, A plus 2 A, B plus A, C plus 0 A, D equal to 0. Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. Uh, so 2, 2, 1, 0, 0. 2, 2, 1, 0. AD ka coefficient 0 hai. And right hand side may be 0 hai. Happy? Yes, sir. Wo mene yaha pe substitute kiya. Now, let us look at the equation number 2. Minus AA minus AB. So, minus 1, minus 1. AC ka coefficient 0. Mm. AD ka coefficient 2. And right hand side may 2. So, dekho, mm. minus 1, minus 1, 0, 2. And zero. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Third equation: AC minus AB equal to plus sixty. So, uh, what is the coefficient of AA? Zero. What is coefficient zero. of AB? Minus one. What minus is one. Of AC plus one. Yes, correct. One. And coefficient of AD zero. So, have zero. a look at this: minus one zero zero one. Happy? Yes. And this is equal to minus 110. Only one thing, when you substitute the value of coefficient, that coefficient should be on the right hand side of the equation. Then only it solves it correctly. Are you with me? Yes. Uh, so now let me solve it. So I get the value as 120 minus 100 minus 40 and 10. 
So A A is one twenty. Are you with me? Yes, sir. A B is minus hundred. Uh, yes. A C is minus forty. And A D is ten. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Okay, great. So this is what we have done. Now uh, we have got these accelerations. And now what is being asked? Velocity of block C after three seconds. So let us solve part A. Part A. Block C is exhibiting uniformly accelerated motion. Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. Now change in velocity of block C from zero to three seconds is given as u plus a. So you, ये जो formula आप use करते हो uniformly accelerated motion के लिए v is equal to u plus a. So इसमें right hand side में जरा गड़बड़ है. Right hand side should not be v. It should be delta of v from zero to t seconds. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Is equal to u plus a t. It so happens that velocity at the beginning is typically zero. Therefore, then this itself becomes velocity at time t. Are you with me? Because yes, the change in velocity from zero to t seconds, I write it as velocity at zero seconds, a velocity at t seconds t. minus, minus velocity, velocity at zero seconds. Zero. This becomes equal to u plus a t. And most of the cases, this v zero is zero. So therefore, you get v t is equal to u plus a t. But that, that's not always the case. Are you with me? Yes, sir. So just remember that this is important. It is not v; it is delta v. So that's what I am writing. Change in velocity of block C from zero to three seconds for a uniformly accelerated motion is velocity of block C at time t equal to zero plus a c acceleration of block C into three. Agreed? Yes, sir. What is acceleration of block C? Acceleration minus of block 40. C is minus forty. So I have to substitute that as minus forty. And then I get this velocity, uh, this side as velocity of C block C at time three minus velocity of C at block uh, velocity of block C at time zero. But what is velocity of block C at time t equal to zero? It is zero. Are you with me? Zero. Yes. Yes. So therefore, velocity of block C at three seconds is three minus forty. That is minus one twenty mm per second. Are you with me? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, great. Now, what is the next part? Change in position of block D after five seconds. Are you with me? Yes, sir. So similarly, change in position of block D from zero to five seconds for uniformly accelerated motion, because block D is also exhibiting uniformly accelerated motion. Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. हाँ तो उसके लिए क्या फॉर्मूला है हमारे पास इट इज यू टी हाफ ए टी स्क्वायर चेंज इन पोजिशन इज इक्वल टू यू दैट इज वेलोसिटी ऑफ ब्लॉक डी एट टाइम जीरो सेकेंड इन टू टी दैट इज फाइव सेकेंड प्लस हाफ एक्सलरेशन ऑफ ब्लॉक डी इन टू फाइव स्क्वायर आर यू मी यस सर वट इज वेलॉसिटी ऑफ ब्लॉक डी एट टाइम जीरो वट इज एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ ब्लॉक डी इट इज माइनस फोर्टी एम स्क्वायर अभी Yes, sir. Ah, so therefore, uh, how much is this? Tell me. Minus forty into five square by two. So that is minus twenty into twenty-five. That is minus five hundred. Minus five hundred. Yes, sir. Ah, so what is the meaning of negative sign? Meaning of negative sign sign is, uh, the block has moved in downward direction. Downward direction. So if at zero seconds it was here. At five seconds, it has occupied a position below the position at zero seconds. Happy? Yes, sir. Okay. You can cross verify all the calculations once again, but I have shown you the path, and I don't think now there is any error in the calculation. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Okay. So this was about the solution of problems which are based on the dependent motion. So dependent motion के लिए what is the take home message? You have to write. Those many KRB pieces, जितने strings होंगे, are you with me? Yes. And then do whatever is asked in the problem. You should be able to translate the problem statement into a mathematical form. That is the skill. Happy? Yes, sir. Okay. Now we are going to solve problems based on pure relative motion. There is no dependent motion. These two cars are independent to move, but 
we are solving the problem based on relative motion. So can you read this problem statement for me? Yes, sir. Yeah. Two automobiles A and B are approaching each other in adjacent highway lanes. At t is equal to zero, A and B are one kilometer apart. The speeds are V A equal to 108 kilometer per hour and V B 63 kilometer per hour. And they are at points P and Q respectively. Knowing that A passes point Q 40 seconds after B was there and the B passes <coughs> point P 42 seconds after A was there, determine A, the uniform accelerations of A and B, B when the vehicles pass each other, see the speed of B at that time. Okay, so we have uh, gone through the problem segment. Let us translate it first into the form of mathematical information. So what have we been given? We have been suggested indirectly that you assume either P or Q as a origin. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Uh, so indirectly there is a suggestion in the problem that either assume P as a origin or Q as a origin. But now we are acquainted to everything happening in positive direction. So I will assume P as a origin mm -hmm. and Q, yes. that is the position of car B, I will assume it to be plus one kilometer with reference to A. Are you with me? So uh, now you have, it has been also told indirectly that this snapshot of cars is taken at time t equal to zero when the observation began. Are you with me? Yes. Sir. So this is at this snapshot is at time t equal to zero. Now at time t equal to zero, a and b are one kilometer apart is what is given. So at time t equal to zero, position of car b with reference to car a with reference to P as a origin and with reference to this X axis as positive is plus one. Do you agree with me? Yes. Sir. A plus one kilometer that is thousand meter. Thousand. Thousand meter. Yes. Sir. So the position of car B is at Q at time T equal to zero, which is on right hand side of P, which is origin and right hand side is positive X axis. So therefore it is plus thousand position of car B with reference to A at time T equal to zero. Are you with me? Yes. So this we can also write it in this fashion. Position of car B with reference to A at time T equal to zero. So comma zero is one plus mm -hmm. thousand. Are you with me? Yes. That's what this is. This is the rotation that we will follow. Have we? Yes, sir. Okay. Now. At that very instant of time, what is velocity of A? It is 100, 108 kilometer. kilometer per hour. It is towards positive x direction. So it is going to be positive. Whereas VB at that time is negative. Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. So, ya to me aise lik sakta ho. Ya fir yahi data me aise lik sakta ho. VA at time t equal to 0 is equal to 108 kmph are you with me yes so and vb at time t equal to 0 is minus 63 kmph can we convert it into meter per second si unit yes, yes. Kya yes. Hai? you have to multiply this by 5, 5 by 18, 18 so so you know. yeah. yes so multiply this by 5 by 18 and you will get the value as how much tell me Thirty and uh, this is thirty. Seventeen point five. Thirty meter per second and seventeen point five meter per second. Minus seventeen point five. Seventeen point five meter per second. So we are working in SI system of units. So ये हमने कर लिया. What else is given? तो देखो वैसे data point में तो कुछ दिया नहीं है. लेकिन you in question, in part A, it has been said that particles A and B or cars A and B are for exhibiting uniform accelerations. Are you with me? Yes, sir. So therefore, A A and A B are constant because, and it is uniformly accelerated motion. Both the cars are exhibiting uniformly accelerated motion. Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. This yes, also sir. is given. Sir. What else is given? Knowing that A passes point Q 40 seconds after B was there and B passes point P 
42 seconds after a was there are you with me yes. so yes, how will you uh, now challenge how will you translate this statement into mathematical form bolo kaise translate karoge any idea uh, dekho main kya likh raha hu dekho abhi yeah. ha bolo Oh, one okay, I will write it. You tell me how have I written that. Fine. Yes, sir. How did I write this? Tell me. Uh, because when uh, at forty seconds, uh, A had completed. Uh, 1000 meters distance and it reached q and at 42 seconds he completed uh, 1000 meters but in the opposite direction reached p uh, so what should i write position of b at at, b at 42 seconds uh, 42 is equal to uh, 1000 no it is zero Deco, okay after yes, sir, seconds, position it is zero. The car B has reached point yes, P. Sir. That means its position is zero. Are you with me? Yes. With reference to P as origin. Yes. Sir. Do you agree with me? Uh, so this is how we translate the statements given here in description in the form of mathematical notations. So one more time, I will explain to you. Who does not understand? Knowing that A passes point Q 40 seconds after B was there. When was B there at Q? B was there at Q at time t equal to zero seconds. So when will car A be at Q at time t equal to forty seconds? So what is the position of car A at time t equal to forty seconds? It is nothing but one kilometer because P yes, is our origin. Are you with me? Yes, sir. So position of car A at time forty seconds is equal to thousand meter. Is the next data that is given. Okay, what is the next? What is the next part of this statement? B passes point P 42 seconds after A was there. When was A there at P? A was there at P at time t equal to zero. So when will B be at point P? It will be at point P after 42 seconds. So at time t equal to 42 seconds, car B will be occupying point position at point P. Are you with me? Yes, sir. But P itself is origin, so at time t equal to 42 seconds, position of car B must be zero. Are you with me? Yes, sir. So these these many data points have been given to us. Now tell me what has been asked. You have to find out uniform acceleration of car A and car B. Are you with me? Yes, sir. So how do I write change in position yes, of car A? Change in position of car A. From time zero to forty seconds. What? क्या ये car yes, uniform sir. acceleration exhibit कर रहा है? This car is experiencing uniform yes, acceleration. Sir. You agree with me? Yeah. So this yes. must be equal to velocity ut plus half t square. So velocity of car a at time t equal to zero multiplied by forty ut plus half Into acceleration of car A into 40 square. Do you agree with me? Yes. yes. Now, yes. Sir. Tell me, what is delta S A from zero to 40 second? It is nothing but position of car A at 40 seconds. 40 minus position zero. At time zero seconds. This must be equal to. Uh, now, what is S A at 40 seconds? Thousand. Happy. Yes. Sir. What is SA at zero? That is that data is given. What is SA at zero? Zero. Can you tell me what is the position of car A at time t equal to zero seconds? Zero. It is occupying position P. So SA what at is zero is. Zero. Happy. Yes. Yes. Sir. And what is position of car B at time zero seconds? Tell me. Plus one thousand. Plus. Yes, you are right. So now let us use this data. So this is plus thousand, and what is position of car A at time t equal to zero second? It is zero. What is velocity of car A at time t equal to zero? Plus thirty meter per second. Yes. 
So 30 in 40 plus half a a in 240 square. Happy? Yes. Sir. Solve this and tell me what is the value of a a. Yes, sir. So it is 1000 minus 1200. So ye ho jayega minus 200. Minus 200 into 2 upon minus 40 into 0.25. Pardon? Yes, it is minus 0 0.25. 5 by 20, that is 1 by 4. 1 by 4 is 0.25. Perfect. So yes, it is minus, minus 1 by 0.25 meter per second square. Agreed? Yes. Sir. And what, yes, what sir. do you mean by negative sign? Let the, the acceleration uh, is? Uh, in, a, in, a, in a negative acceleration. Yes. Or so, the object is retarding. So therefore, it is in yes. So, but we do not use the word retardation. We say it is negative acceleration. Are you with me? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, uh, let us go ahead. Now, what do we do next? You have to also find out acceleration of uh, car B, isn't it? So we are going to use similar yes, equation. Sir. Car B is also exhibiting uniformly accelerated motion so delta change in position of car b from 0 to 40 seconds must be equal to velocity of car b at 0 seconds into uh, i'm sorry not 40 42 42 yes sir into 42 plus half acceleration of car b into 42 square now, uh, can you change in position of car B? So, SB at 42 minus SB at 0. This must be equal to. Now, what is SB at 42? Position of zero. car. Yes, it is 0. And what is SB at 0? 1000. Plus 1000. Uh, so, it is the, on left hand side, you are going to have minus 1000. Hmm. Yes. And on the right hand side, what is velocity of car B at time t equal to 0? Minus 17.5. Yeah. Are you with me? Yes, uh, so it is minus 17.5 yes. into 42 plus half acceleration of B into 42 square. Can you tell me what is the value of AB? Yes. So it's coming out to be minus uh, 1.96. How minus? Minus 1.967. One uh, are you sure it is minus? Uh, oh, yes. Uh, uh, no. Uh, how much is 17.5 into 42? It is 3. How much is 17.5? It 375. is 735. Sir. No, no, 735. 735. Huh, so 7, okay. Yes. So 735 goes so I think I made a mistake. Yeah, no. and what is that? No. No. 17. 17. Just a second. 17.5 into 42. That turns out to be 735. That's correct. 735 yes. goes on the other so side. The acceleration should be negative of uh, 0 0.3. Negative of? And this divided by, this multiplied by 2. Just give me a second. This multiplied by 2. Five. Divided by 42. Divided by 42. Uh, minus 0.3, is that right? Point. Yes. yes. So this acceleration turns out to be minus, minus point 0.3 meter per second square. Therefore, it is towards left. Now, what I am trying to say now is most important. Deco, car A has a velocity in right direction. Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. 
yes, and it has negative acceleration that means car a is slowing down slowing down slowing yes. down down in positive x direction do you agree with me yes yes sir and therefore it its acceleration is negative happy yes sir what can you say about car b car b ka velocity is towards left and its acceleration yes, is also towards left so car b is speeding up do you agree with me towards negative ha uh -huh. car b is yes, speeding up in negative x direction therefore its acceleration is negative dono ke acceleration to negative hai but reasons are different are you with me yes sir okay so i hope that part is clear now so we have found out acceleration of uh, car a and car b now next question is asked when the vehicles pass each other that means what is the time at which vehicles are going to cross one another are you with me yes yes sir ah, okay so how will you I means how are you going to deal with this question here yeah, tell me we we find the relative velocity of uh, a with respect to b and then use the distance as 1000 uh, meters relative velocity of yes uh, absolutely fantastic so what we are going to do here is now we want to find out that time at which position of b with reference to a is zero do you agree with me yes sir this yes. is the point at yes. which cars pass each other are you with me yes sir okay and let us say that it happens at time t let us say it happens at time t do you agree with me हाँ अब जरा यहाँ पे ध्यान दो वट इज दिस क्वांटिटी एट टाइम टी इक्वल टू जीरो पोजिशन ऑफ कार बी विथ रेफरेंस टू ए एट टाइम टी इक्वल टू जीरो इट इज वन थाउजेंड मीटर डू यू एग्री विद मी ये तो हमने लिखा यस सो ये हमने स्टार्टिंग में लिख दिया अभी चलो ना व्हाट इज दिस दिस इज एट टाइम टी सो मैंने ऐसे लिख दिया ना कैन वी राइट डाउन वेलोसिटी ऑफ कार बी विथ रेफरेंस टू ए एट टाइम टी इक्वल टू जीरो इजीली व्हाट इज दैट वी बी माइनस वी ए डू यू एग्री विथ मी यस सर एग्री मी सो इट इज वी बी यस एट टाइम टी इक्वल टू जीरो माइनस वी ए एट टाइम टी But what is VB at time equal to t equal to zero? Minus minus seventeen point five. So minus seventeen point five. And what is velocity of A at time equal to zero? Thirty meter 30. per second. So minus thirty. So ये कितना हुआ minus forty seven five meter per second. Are you with me? Yes. This is velocity of B with reference to A. now can you tell me what is acceleration of b with reference to a yes so how do i write that acceleration of b acceleration of, of b course, line of course this it is constant e b minus a b minus a a and this is at all times do you agree with yes. me yes sir Yes. Because acceleration of b is constant and acceleration of a is constant, acceleration a is constant. So therefore, acceleration of b with reference to a at all times is same. So ulta a ka matlab hota hai at all. Yes. Are you with me? Ah, so what is yes. a b? What is a b? Yes. It is minus point three. What is a a? Bolo minus point two five. So minus point three. Minus point <coughs> minus of minus point two five, so it becomes plus point two five. So yeah. how much is minus point three plus point two five? Yeah, tell me. Minus zero point zero five. Minus zero point zero five 
meter per second square do you per agree second. with me yes yeah and this is not a function of time not a function of time are you with me yes ab relative motion ke context pe dekha jaye to car b with respect to car a car a is performing performing uniformly accelerated motion do you agree with me yes uniformly accelerated motion with constant acceleration a b with reference to a equal to minus 0.0, 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. meter mm oh sorry meter per second square right yes so now can i use equations of uniformly accelerated motion for this relative motion yes and what yes, is what, what is that going to be s is equal, that is going to equal to the change in position dekho change in position of car b with reference to car a from a. time 0 to t 0 to t t is the time yes. at which the cars pass so time at which sb is equal to sa or sb slash a is zero are you with me yes sir uh, what, what is the equation ut so it is velocity of car b with reference to car a at time t equal to zero multiplied by t ut plus half acceleration of a car b with reference to with a respect to a into t square agreed Yes, U T plus half A T square. Now, what is left hand side? Tell me. Position of car B with reference to A at time T minus yes. position of car B minus. with reference to A at time zero. zero. How much is this? This is thousand. thousand. Are you with me? And this is yes. unknown. So. what is velocity of car b with reference to a at time t equal to 0 we have calculated that it is minus 47.5 and what is acceleration of b with reference to a it is minus 0.05 happy yes sir so what is the equation that we get minus 47.5 t are you with me plus yes sir uh half into minus 0.05 t square and by the way this left hand side we want it this to be zero uh, uh, this part should be zero do you agree with me yes sir if the car cars have to pass uh, at time t then s b with reference to a at time t must be equal to 0 so what is the equation that we get minus 1000 is equal to minus 47.5 t plus or rather minus 0.05 by 2 t square please tell me two roots of this so i will get two roots of this time what are those two roots can you tell me let me do it with you on calculator just a second calculator so i got it as Minus zero point zero five by two into alpha x square minus forty seven point five into alpha x plus thousand alpha equal to zero. That gives me two roots of time. One root is minus one nine two zero point eight two seconds. Is that right? Are you getting these two roots? Minus one nine two zero point eight two seconds. And second root is twenty two point eight two seconds. Are you getting these two roots? No. 
no no i ca i couldn't hear you calculating okay tell me online quadratic calculator okay calculate and let me know if you are getting these two roots Uh, anyone else got these roots please let me know chalo agasi arindam ayush yeah. akshat alisha yes, thanks, right please let me know if you are getting same roots sir i got the same roots okay yes, thanks Ready for it to have mental root. Yeah. So we are going to discard negative root because at that time observer was not observing the phenomena. Are you with me? Yes. Ah, so yes, therefore, sir. we are going to accept the root t equal to 20.82 seconds. So after 22.82 seconds, the cars are cars are going to pass one another. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Okay. So uh, now, what is the third part? The speed of car B at that time. So at what time we have to compute the speed of car B? At time t equal to 20.82 seconds. And as car B is exhibiting uniformly accelerated motion, it is speed of car B at time t equal to 0 seconds. U plus 80 acceleration of car B multiplied by 20.82. Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. What is the speed of car B at time t equal to 0 seconds? 17.5. Uh, okay, so where is it? Huh, this one. Say minus 17.5. Happy? Yes. Minus 17.5 plus 17.5 plus minus zero. Minus what is zero the acceleration? Minus 0.3. So minus 0.3. This multiplied by 20.82. So can you tell me what is the speed of velocity? What is the speed of car B at 20.82 seconds? Yes. Minus 17 plus minus 0.3 into 20.82. How much it is? 20. Uh, minus 23.76. Minus 23.76. Ah, seven four six. Okay, seven four six meter per second. It is greater than its speed at the beginning, so therefore the car is speeding up in negative x direction. That's correct. And as it is negative, therefore yes. it's it must be moving in negative x direction. Okay. Yes. So we have answered all all the questions. Are you with me? Yes. Okay. So now we are going to. Uh, go through the next problem. After we finish this problem, we are going to stop here for today. And ye problem include karke, ye jab bhi khatam hoga. Till that point, whatever we have covered, that is the syllabus for your midterm examination. Are you with me? Yes. Sir. Okay. So can you read this problem for me? Yes, sir. As real runner A enters the 20 meter long exchange zone with the speed of 12.9 meter per second, he begins to slow down. He hands the pattern to the learner B. 1.8 seconds later, as they leave the exchange zone with the same velocity, determine A, the uniform acceleration of each of the runners B, when runner B sh uh, should begin to run. Okay, now, uh, in your thought process, uh, the problem should be clear. So, uh, this, when it is about relay running, this 20 meter is the exchange zone. 
So whenever runner A enters yes. this zone, uh, he has a velocity greater than runner B. Are you with me? Yes. Uh, but when runner B sees runner A in, in his vicinity, then he starts running. Are you with me? He starts running, yes. he starts accelerating, and runner A starts slowing down. So whenever their velocity becomes compatible, when they, whenever their velocity becomes equal, then with reference to each other, they are in static position as if they are standing next to one another. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Only at that time, uh, the bat uh, only at that time the baton can be transferred without jerk. Are you able to understand what I'm trying to say? Yes. You can imagine that two cars are moving yes. with moving parallel to one another. Whenever they are traveling with the same speed, they are stationary with reference to one another. So you can transfer the object from one window window of one car to another without any jerk. Are you with me? Yes. So yes, yes, process. Hai. Car uh, runner A is in his in, in full swing. He enters this transition zone with the velocity in full swing. At that time, just before few seconds, runner B would have noticed that runner A is about to enter uh, the relay zone. So he starts accelerating. So his speed goes on increasing, his velocity goes on increasing. Whereas runner A, after entering the transition zone, starts slowing down. And whenever their speeds become equal, are you with me? The baton is transferred. Yes, sir. So that's what is being described here. As relay runner A enters a 20 meter long exchange zone with the speed of 12.9 meter per second. So can you tell me what is T equal to zero seconds? What happens at time T equal to zero seconds? T equal so to zero seconds. Is, uh, yes, yes sir. this snapshot is just before time T equal to zero seconds. Whenever Runner A has reached this transition zone here. Are you with me? Yes. Yes. Sir. So, here's your position is come bolenge P. This is the starting point origin. Are you with me? Yes. Sir. And at time T equal to zero seconds, what is position of A? Tell me. Position of runner A is zero at time T equal to zero seconds. Zero. Happy? Uh, what yes. is the position of? It is actually behind, I think, the origin. No. When it is behind the origin, at that time, he is running in full swing with velocity 12.9 meter per second. He maintains that velocity and enters the transition okay. zone. So when he okay. enters the transition yes. zone, at that time, that instant, I am going to call it as t equal to 0. Are you with me? Okay. Okay. So at time t equal to zero seconds, position of A is zero. That is the first observation. Happy? Yes. Are you with me? At that okay. time, position of B is also zero. Happy? Zero. Yes. Now, runner A is slowing down. And runner B is speeding up. And B is speeding up. Yes, sir. So I will call acceleration of runner A as AA. We know that it is negative, but we will not make any comment on that. AA and acceleration yes. of runner B as AB. And these two are uniform accelerations because a problem with the Are you with me? Yes, sir. These are uniform. Yes. Sir. Matlabe, they are constant accelerations. Constant accelerations. Are you with me? Yes. Sir. Okay. So uh, he hands the baton to runner B as they leave the exchange zone. So yeah, 20 meter ka distance. Kitne time may cover hua hai? Uh, 1.8. 20 meter distance is being covered in time 1.82 seconds by both the runners. Are you with me? Yes. Sir. So at time t equal to 1.82 seconds, what is the position of A? Tell me. It is 20 meter. 20. Yes. Sir. What is the position? Sorry, not 0, 1.82. Are you with me? 
Yes. Sir. 1.82. What is the position of runner B at time 1.82? 20, 20 meters. 20. Chalo. What is the velocity of runner A at time t equal to 0? 12.9 Nine. What is velocity of runner B at time t equal to zero? Zero. Are you with me? Zero. Ah. What yes. is velocity of runner A at 1.82 seconds? Is equal to velocity of runner B at 1.82 seconds. Uh, Are yes, you with sir. me? Yes. Happy? So this is all data yeah. that we have translated. Yes, now, tell me, what is relative velocity of runner B with reference to runner A at time t equal to 1.82 seconds? Zero? Zero. Yes, yes, that is given because they are moving with the same speed. Are you with me? Same speed. Ah, yes, tell sir. me, what is acceleration of B with reference to A? This is equal to AB minus AA. Are you with me? Yes. And this is for all times. All times. So is relative motion between B and A, relative motion of B with reference to A, is it uniformly accelerated motion? Yes. Are you with me? Yes. Sir. So first of all, we will try yes. to find out AB. And then we will try to try to find out A. Let us do that. So how do we find out A, A, B? So uske liye, position of runner A at time 1.82 minus position of runner A at time 0. This is change in position. Zero. This must be equal to velocity yes. of runner A. No, not 0. <coughs> velocity of runner A at time t equal to 0 into yes. time t that is that 1.82 is ha, okay ut plus half a a into t square do you agree with me yes sir. what is a position of runner a at 1.82 seconds 20 meters 20 what is his position at time zero zero <coughs> So we got the equation 20 zero. is equal to what is velocity of a at time t equal no. to zero 12.9. So what is the value of uh, acceleration? Tell me. Yes. So in fact, that will be negative because runner A is going to reduce the speed. Tell me how much is A A? Twenty minus twelve point nine. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I think it's minus zero two point zero nine. Yes, no? it is minus two point one. Right? Yeah, okay. Two point one. Yes. 99 hai na, to 1 kar diya. So minus 2.1 uh, meter per uh, second square. Happy? Yes. Can, uh, similarly, can I write pos position of B at 1.82 minus position of B at 0 is equal to velocity of B at 0 into 1.82 plus half acceleration of B into 1.82 square and this is 20 this is 0 and this is 0 uh, so therefore we got the equation 20 must be equal to one half a b into 1.82 square having said that what is the value yeah. of a b tell me 12 12.07 12. 0, 7. 40 divided by 1.82 square. 
yeah 12.07 meter per second so now can you tell me what is acceleration of b with reference to a 12.07 minus of minus 12.07 right minus of yes. minus 2.1 so how much is it? how much is, is it acceleration 14. of b with reference 14.1 meter per second i i will be spending yes. just one minute please be with me and then you can join uh, the other class so acceleration is this one uh, uh, the so we have determined uniform accelerations and now when runner b should begin to run is the next question that is asked are you with me yes yes sir ah so if that question is asked whatever we have done till now is incorrect yes, how that oh. i will tell you in the next class yes, are you with me so if this is the question yes. that is asked, okay. we should have read the question first before answering the other parts. Okay. So anyway, we will have to redo calculations for B in the next class. We will do that. Are you with me? Yeah. Okay. So we will stop yes. here for today. We will solve this problem in next class. And then we will start with the syllabus after mixing. So let us close this class here. You can put your attendance in the uh, same link. If anyone has a doubt, please ask me. Otherwise, you can leave the class. Can you please show the calculations for acceleration of A, sir? Once again.